everybody, the Epic Josh are here once again, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a startup image on your DOSBox. This only works on an emulator like DOSBox, this doesn't work on the real deal like MS-DOS or anything. This only works on DOSBox, because it's the only one on there. So let's double click it. What you're going to be seeing is a status window and DOS box. Now what you're going to be seeing here is not what you're going to be seeing. See, it says starting DOS box. It's just going to be saying welcome. Now I, I, it won't be showing up like this. It's going to be showing up like a big blue box. And it's going to be saying welcome to DOS box. Do this and do this. And then there's going to be this set a blaster and you're going to have to mount your drive. That's in a different video. So what you actually need <laughs> is to go to C. Yeah, that's it. What you're gonna have to be downloading is Q Basic, and I already am a uh, downloaded Q Basic. Here is right here. In fact, I got a lot of games. That one doesn't work. You're gonna go to CD. That means change directory. Q Basic. This is how to make your startup image. Oop, that's in the way. Then after that, you're gonna go to QB. Boom! You're done. Okay. So I'm gonna be showing you the basics of Q Basic, and I'm gonna be showing you how to build your own program of the startup image, I mean. Now what you're going to be doing is you're going to be using the sleep command that makes it so it kind of sounds like the illusion of waiting. How long do you want to wait? Three seconds? I think three seconds is good. And then after you're going to go to print with quotes you're going to do starting M S DOS. Three little dots. And then you're gonna go to sleep three again. And then you're gonna be using print welcome. If you want to, you don't have to. And then you're gonna be doing um print means echo. But then you're gonna have to use this really special command called play. And what's the t no you don't have to use the tempo. Um I suggest you use whatever you know you want to. This is gonna be your startup music for DOSBox. Like you could do like C F G and then do that to lower the octave. And then after, after that, you're going to be writing, um, C. I think that's it. No? Not C? Not C? No, I just expected a statement. Oh, this is really important. CLS. That clears the screen before this could show up. Now watch this. If you go to run, oops, CLS is not. There we go. Now, there we go. What's out of space here? Now it's at eight to them to lower the notes um, tempo and let's do print quotes with a space in the middle and then let's start it up again starting in this DOS there we go, it sounds a little bit better, right? it is welcome But that's it. That that's all you have to do. Hope you enjoyed.
But wait, it's not finished yet. You're going to have to save it. I'm going to save it in files. And S E G. That means S for start and E G for example. So start example. So let's press this. It's going to be called seg. <laughs> All right. After we're going to go to do, 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 oh, run. Yep. Click click run, and then you're going to go to make exe file. Exe. You're going to go to standalone exe file. We're going to go to seg. You're going to go to make exe or make exe and edit. Cause I'm going to go to make exe. All right, done. Then exit. Well, I could have just used the other one. Ah, oh, who cares anyway? Excuse me. Now, I don't like to be like these other ones, but I'm going to be doing this stuff. We're gonna go to directory, and then you should and you should see seg. So let's type in seg. It's right here anyway. Oops, I forgot to press um control F ten. Oh dang, that locks it. Alright. So it's you seg right here. Then let's open seg. Oops. Sometimes you're gonna have to del the file. And it's really sad. You're gonna have to delete the object too. Now how to fix that glitch? You're gonna go to QB. You're gonna go open program. You're gonna go back to SIG. You're gonna go to G4. And then after, you're gonna go to P. P. Um, straight eight, cause P means um, I think it means pause, but it's not a note. Now it's gonna start. That 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 that's a glitch. It won't be in that final template. Do not worry. Then you're gonna have to go to save. And then you're gonna go run, make exe library, and then you're gonna make the exe an exit. And then that's it. You're gonna go to seg, and it will work. Eventually, it will work. Actually, it will work right now. That's it! That's all you have to do. But how do you insert it in? How do you make it start up? Well, you're gonna go have to go to your files. This is what I said. This will only work on your emulator. This will not work on your um, uh, real deal. So then you're gonna go to libraries. Oh no, not libraries. You're gonna go to. I mean, see. I'm gonna have to pause here for a second. I do not want you to. See. All right, I'm back. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be going on App Data. Click that. And you're going to be going to Local. All these numbers are not just going to be here, but you're going to see this only file called DOSBox. Do it. And then you're going to be seeing this DOSBox 7 po uh, 0.74 config file. So, config stands for configuration. So, then after... Pretend we don't have all this stuff. 
Bla bla bla. So watch this. So to input your files, you need to go to um. What is it again? Oh yeah! You're gonna have to go to. This is also to mount your drives. You can go to go to mount. C and the directory you want to mount. I want to mount old games. And then after you mount the old games, I think you're gonna have to mount. Um, this is your fake drive. You can do mount C. C. You can you can do any letter for them. Uh, this. It's just gonna be your mount drive. Let's try J instead. And then you're, this is the location you're gonna be mounting. And then after... You're gonna CD Q basic and then you're gonna go to SIG or the file. And then after you're going to be going to CD. No, hold on. And after boom, you're gonna go to CLS, and that's all the coding you need to do. You're gonna press X, and then you're gonna press Save. And the next time you open up DOSBox, it's Hmm? Mount C, C, old games. Mm -hmm. Alright, that, that works. Mm -hmm. Now nah, it's shirking anyway. Maybe it needs to be... Mm -hmm. After you save it, I'll try many attempts, but... Oh my dear... Just hold on a second. What is it? Oh, we're back! <laughs> yeah, I still have it. <gasps> That's what I was missing! Oh! So when you write Mount Seal Games, it wouldn't automatically change to the C drive. You need to add the C drive itself. So after Mount Seal Games, you need to add the C drive. And this has to be an ex 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 existing directory. So, let's add the J file instead. There we go. We're going to be saving this file and opening up DOSBox. We're opening it up. And then boom, SEG is opening. It says starting in DOS. Boom, it has made the sound, and look at this, J file. See? J. It says, mount, and use the fake drive as J, but mount it as this. And then the next command says, open J, and change the directory to QBasic, and open the startup example file and then you gotta go back a file and then you gotta clear the screen let's see that again shall we it's a seg right there it says starting ms-dos and it says welcome and then it just simply clears the screen 
I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope I enjoyed this video too, and I hope that I push, post this on YouTube. I hope I post this, this on YouTube, and outro. Goodbye, everyone, and see you next video.